Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is using tens to subtract. This is lesson uh, 3.7 in our Go Math uh, second grade textbook. And so here's our question. How does uh, getting to 10 and subtraction help when finding differences? Okay, so uh, here we're going to uh, circle the amount uh, that we subtract from each problem and hopefully we'll see a pattern here. Okay, so, so here we go. So this line right here represents this blue line right here above the number line represents uh, Scott. He has 13 crayons. So see how this blue line goes all the way to 13 right there? So it gives us uh, three crayons to Tyler. How many crayons does Scott have left? Okay, so um, probably you guys, um, uh, many of you already know the answer, but the, the directions say right here, circle to show the amount that we're going to subtract. So we're going to subtract three crayons right there, okay? So um, so it says circle that, so I, I drew kind of a circle right there for the three crayons that we subtracted. So right here uh, at the 10 is how many crayons that's, that Scott has left. So Scott has 10 crayons left, okay? Let's do that with this one. Bob has 17 crayons. So here's a, a blue line that represents 17 crayons and he gives seven crayons to Keith. So how many crayons does Bob have? Okay, so we're gonna circle um, we're going to circle seven because that's the number that we're going to take away that uh, how many how many Bob has. Okay, so there's uh, seven right there. So we're left again with with ten crayons. Okay, and that's what this lesson is about is subtraction using ten. So Bob now has ten crayons left. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, John, that's a B, should be a John, J-O-H-N, sorry about that, J-O-H-N. John has 12 crayons, and he gives um, uh, two crayons to Bonnie. So how many crayons does John have, have now? Well, okay, let's circle that. We're going to take off the two right there. Let me change that B to an N. Okay, there we go. And then, uh, so how many does John have left? Well, he has 10 also, okay? So, so they, we always subtracted the, um, uh, the correct amount to get us to 10 right there. So that's going to lead us into this question, our math talk question. So describe a pattern in the three problems, okay? So the first one was we had 13 minus 3. So we started with 13 and we subtracted 3 and that gave us 10. The second one was we had 17 crayons and then we subtracted 7 and that gave us 10 also. So, so this was 12 crayons minus two, which gave us 10. So notice that um, uh, this digit right here in the 13 matches this digit in the three. This digit in the 17 matches that digit. So what happens is, is the units digits are the same uh, when we subtract, and so it always gave us uh, 10 as our answer right there. So as long as we take off that. So we can subtract in steps using uh, a tens fact. So for example, 14 minus 6. Well, if you can see that 6 is the same as 4 and 2 together, and so what we can do is do 14 minus 2. 14 minus 2 gives us 10. Okay, so let's do that. So we start here with 14. Uh, did I say minus 2? 14 minus 4 gives us 10, so we're going to subtract off 4 to get us 10 right there. And then we just got to subtract a little bit more right there to get us, uh, we got to subtract the additional 2 right there. So there's there's um, 10 minus 2 now, so 10 minus 2 gets us to 8 right there. So 14 minus 6 is the same as uh, 14 minus 4, and then, and then which gives us 10, so then 10 minus 2 gives us 8. So 14 minus 6 equals 8, okay? Let's do that with these ones. We're going to show the tens facts that we used and write the differences, okay? So instead of 12 minus 5, let's change 5 to 2 and 3. So we can do 12 minus 2, which is 10, okay? And then 12 minus 2 will give us a 10, and so we just do 10 minus the rest of it. So 10, 10 minus 3 gets us um, uh, that 7 right there. Okay, over here, let's change uh, 6 to 1 and 5 so we can match up the units digit with 11. See here we matched up the units digit with the 12, so we made 5, 2, and 3. So here we're going to make up 11. We're going to make up 6 as 1 and 5. So we can do um, 11 minus um, uh, 1. Let me get uh, here. I'm not. There we go. So 11 minus 1 gets us 10 right there. My coffee cup's in my way right there, okay? And then uh, now we can do 10 minus the rest of the 6, which is that 5. So 10 minus 5 gets us uh, that 5 right there. Okay, so here we're going to do 15 minus 7. We're going to change uh, 7 to 5 and 2. So we can do 15 minus 5 gives us 10. And then we have 10 minus the, the leftover 2. So 10 minus 2 is going to give us... 8 right there. OK, 
Okay, so last one. So 13 minus 7, 13 minus 7, we're going to change 7 to 3 and 4. So 13 minus 3 gets us 10 right there. And then, uh, then we just subtract 10 minus the rest of that 7, which is 10 minus 4. So 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay, so 13 minus 7 is, is also 6. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense. And then uh, 10 is a, a good number to add and subtract with. Take care.